All right, I was messing with the GoPro 7 Black. So I started noticing some of these videos that I play run the CPU really high, especially if they're 4K or even the 27K. Uh, they just run that CPU really high. The 4K will get up to 90% just playing the video in VLC. So I'm going to show you in this video what I found out. Um, there are settings in the GoPro if you go to preferences and general the code settings, they got two different settings in there. H.264 plus HEVC or just the HEVC. But if you just choose the HEVC, you might have compatibility issues for uh, older hardware or older software. So, but I want to show you, this is the H.264 uh, plus HEVC. And these are both one minute videos in 1080p. And this one uh, is 342.5 megabyte. And this one is 273.8, which is a savings of almost 69 megabyte a minute if you just go with the HEVC. So here's the H.264 plus HEVC. Now I'm just going to play it in VLC, and this is what I've been noticing. Now watch my CPU here. Now I am recording, so it was already about 15% uh, or so. But I want you to see, just playing the video, this thing goes to 50%. And when if I'm not recording, it'll go to about 35% in 1080 in the 2k i think about uh, 70 percent in the 4k goes about 90 percent so there it is about 47 48 percent just playing the video in vlc and so now let's look at the hevc by itself and it's still at uh, what 20 percent 16 percent that's the same as me just recording my screen here it doesn't affect it at all so I go ahead, went ahead and switched the camera to the HEVC only because it just runs a lot quieter. I mean, I click on some of them videos that are 4K and this thing will just run the CPU really hot, 90%. And just, I mean, it's ridiculous. So, uh, but you will fall into compatibility issues. So uh, here's Cadent Live. And what I noticed about Cadent Live now, if you know it first, let me tell you, this one is the HEVC only. And if you notice the uh, letters here, it says GX. Starts with a GX. And the H.264 plus HEVC is GH. So in Cadent Live, I got both of them here. This is the H.264 uh, plus HEV. And so this one should play good in Cadent Live. But... I notice Cadent Live is a hit and miss. It, sometimes it'll play good, like now it's not playing good. Now it is playing good. And this one should be playing smooth because it's the H.264 plus HEV, which is more compatible. And now let's uh, see this one, this one. Uh, now, even in Cadent Live, I've had the HEVC play smooth. But you see that one's not playing smooth now. And... I was messing with it and, and sometimes you can get it to play smooth if you just let it sit there and do its thing and let it catch up it will play smooth but if you go and look in all the settings in Cadent Live you won't hardly find anything in here the project defaults or environment or anything in here the only place you're gonna find uh, the HEV uh, C what's it called HEVC setting is in the rendering now it will render it just fine if you just put it on the H.264. That's what I've been doing. You know, even though it's, th this is just running kind of funny in uh, the playback here on the monitor. It, you know, it's still going to render fine and playback fine after you render it. Uh, but, you know, that's what I've been dealing with. And I've been uh, just using that H.264 there. But there you see, um, you can go to ultra high definition HEVC right there in Cadent Live. It just uh, doesn't play back smooth in this little monitor here. So uh, I downloaded Shotcut. And Shotcut is plays real smooth. And there it says the preset profile HEVC main profile. So that's the one I clicked on there. 
And let's see, this is the HEVC file here. Plays real smooth. Has no problem uh, rendering it or playing it back in Shotcut. Plays real smooth. And I did notice something else with Shotcut. I haven't used it in a while. And if you notice right here, it says uh, they got uh, this advanced mode now. And they even have where you can use the NVEC code uh, hardware your GPU to run it instead of your CPU. So I got that all selected for the H264 and the HEVC NVEC. And you can click on advanced, get to all those settings right there. And there it is. Uh, see codes, HEVC NVEC. So uh, that's pretty cool. So I'll be using Shotcut here uh, to run these files because uh, Caden Live, you know, it works. I've been using it. You know, it, it'll it'll run those files and render them no problem. It, it just playback is what they got a problem with. Uh, and sometimes it works. It's just a hit and miss, you know, like I said. But the main thing for me is why I'm going with the HEVC only is just playing the video back in VLC. Um, I mean, this is a 1080 video and it runs it up to if, I, if I'm not recording and I just play the, the video by itself uh, it runs it to about 35 percent in a 1080 in a 4k it'll run it to 90 percent and the fans come on and that computer just like man what's going on here you know and this one it only runs it to six percent in a 1080 and you know no more than 20 percent in a uh, 4k so you know and then on top of that the file size is a lot smaller and easier to work with so uh, the only problem is you know some of the stuff is not going to uh, work it like Cadent Live here I mean it still works it it just uh, has a problem with it playing it back in this uh, monitor thing here so whatever software you're using you know that's uh, what you might or, or your hardware for for that matter uh, if you go with just the HEVC, you might have some kind of compatibility issues. But man, uh, this one here is just, I don't know. It, it just runs too hot. And uh, I mean, this this is just a 1080 uh, video, MPEG-4, what's it called? MPV, what's it? MP4 video. And for some reason, it wants to run that CPU really high. So I'm going to go with that. I already set the camera on the uh, HEVC because it just uh, runs a lot smoother and lighter. And the whole file size is just smaller. And I'm going to use a shortcut here because it runs it really good. HEVC main profile. And it's even got the hardware encoder for the NVEC. I didn't even know that they updated all that. So pretty cool. So if you got the GoPro and you're using it and you're thinking, why are these videos uh, running so hot on my computer? That's why. I just go into the preferences and change the um, setting to the code setting to the HEVC and see if it'll run on your hardware or your software. And then you're ready to go. So I guess I'm going to wrap this up here. I was just noticing that uh, some of these files, man, they were just really getting this computer hot. And I was wondering why. So I started investigating and that's what I found out. It's the, it's the code, this uh, H.264 plus HEVC or whatever it's called. It, it just doesn't run good. I mean, it really just runs it up there. And I don't know why, but that's what it's just doing. And you'll see that one here. It doesn't do nothing. So I guess I'm going to wrap it up here. All right, I'm out.